on guys, Christian here and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to automate your curtains in your home. So these are super cool, we're going to be going over the SwitchBot curtain and this is the rod version. They have a few different versions depending on the type of curtain rod that you're using. Uh, this one is for a round rod and they're super easy to install and then they're also super convenient because you can control them from your phone. So you can either just open them from the app, you can set up a schedule so that they'll open in the morning, close at night, they have a light sensor on them so that you can actually have it just automatically detect when the sun comes up, they'll open up, and when the sun goes down, they'll automatically close. There's a lot of cool features, you can even get an optional hub that will allow them to bridge to your Wi-Fi connection and then you can actually control them from anywhere from your smartphone. So they're a really cool smart home item to have, and ever since I've had them, they're awesome. I have them just open my blinds up automatically in the morning. It helps me wake up to having some sunlight coming in, so it's not like I'm just waking up in a dark room. And then it's also awesome at night to just come home. Once it gets dark, the curtains will go ahead and just close for me automatically, and I don't need to get up. It's also really cool when you have two curtains side by side. So you could just give a tug on the one side, and it'll automatically open um, both curtains right up for you rather than needing to open each one individually all the way. It'll automatically do it for you and it does both of them at the same time. So let's get into opening up the box and seeing what we have inside and then we'll go into the installation and it's super easy to do so let's get started. Alright so as you can see here it comes in a pretty nice packaging uh, some information on the sides and it says setup is simple all you got to do is download the app install it on your curtain and then go ahead and calibrate and enjoy so to start we're gonna go ahead and open it right up and inside the box here you'll find a few items so first we have our switch bot curtain right here and as you can see it's just like this on the back here we have one button to adjust the size for the rod. The rod will go right through here and then this wheel here will have it roll. So we have that button and then we also have a charging port, an LED, and then just a general button that can be used for a few different things depending on what you're doing. Um, so that's that. So then down inside the box here we also have this little box and inside there we are going to have this rubber strip here and we also have a charger in there. So you can go ahead and use that to charge it up before you get started. And then we also have these clips for clipping your curtain depending on how you're gonna do it. Um, for my curtain, I don't need to use these, but you can read the instructions um, if you do decide to use these. I think it just kinda helps make the curtains look a little fancier, um, but I'm not concerned about that on my installation. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to get it installed. Alright guys, so then the first step to get um, this set up is going to be to go ahead and install the SwitchBot app on your phone. Pretty easy to do, just download it from the App Store and then set up an account. Once you do that, go ahead and set up a new device. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and click the plus button here. And then we're going to want to set up a curtain. So once you do that, it says to start the pairing, you're going to go ahead and hold the button on your SwitchBot. I already did it, so that's why I'm flashing. But you just hold the button down for two seconds, and then you'll see it'll start to flash just like this. So once you have that flashing, that means it's in pairing mode, and you can go ahead and click Next. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and name it and put it into a room. So for me, I already have my room set up. So we're going to hit OK, and then go ahead and click Next. Uh, pick your rod depending how you have it set up. Um, again, this will be different for depending on which one you have. I have the original curtain rod. Then pick however your style is. So for me, I'm doing a grommet installation. And then basically just go through these uh, options here and it'll just kind of guide you through the installation. Alright, so then when we're actually going to go ahead and install it, um, you want to have the SwitchBot label facing towards you and you're going to go ahead and basically just hook it right over the rod. Um, when you're doing it, you're going to want to go in your curtain uh, between the first and second loops. It's going to go right behind the curtain there. Um, I'm going to show you how to install it not behind the curtain just so you can see what I'm doing. But when you're installing it, you're actually going to go ahead and put it right behind the curtain. So this way when it pushes to the right, it'll hook this and slide the curtain. And when it goes to the left, 
it'll hook onto the other grommet there and slide the curtain to the left. So when you go to put it on, you're basically just going to go ahead and loop it right over the rod like this and then go ahead and just squeeze it until it gets tight. Um, you can actually grab from the back here, and if you want to make sure it's a little extra tight, you can kind of push on these pieces of plastic here, and um, that'll just kind of tighten it up a little bit extra. And then you can feel that when you slide it, um, the wheel is actually rolling. So once you get it installed, then you can go into the app, and that's going to be the next step of getting them set up and synced. So once you get through all of that, you can go ahead and choose the open and close mode. So you're going to either choose left to right, right to left, or open from middle. Open from middle is if you have two curtains on both sides of a window and you have two switch bots. Then you can do that and they will work in unison. Otherwise, if you just have a single curtain on one side, then you're going to do one of these top two options. So if you were going to do open from middle, it's going to say you need two curtains. I don't currently have two curtains here for my setup. So we'll just say open right to left. Then you're going to go ahead and click go to calibration. And then from here, you're basically just going to go ahead and set the left and right maximums for your curtain and just follow this step set up here, um, moving all the way to the right, moving all the way to the left, and um, once you get that all calibrated, then you'll be good to roll. So once you get that all good to go, you're just going to go ahead and click on the curtain that you have, and from there you can then open it from that button, or you can close it from that button, and at any point while it is moving, you can use the pause button to stop it. If you want to have some more options, you can go ahead and click the more button here. And from there, you can go ahead and change the slider control mode to be either single or both sides if you have two curtains. You also can set up the light sensing. So mine doesn't actually work with light sensing because I have them up too high away from the light. But you can set it up to automatically open and close the curtains depending on different light values that it's detecting from the sun. Um, you can also turn on delays um, as well as set up a schedule for it to open and close automatically for you so you don't have to do it. They do have two different motion modes. They have performance and silent mode. Silent mode is going to be a little bit quieter, but it's also going to not be quite as powerful. So it might get stuck and it's going to be a lot slower. Whereas if you do do performance mode, you might have a little bit more sound, but it's going to open a lot quicker and it shouldn't get stuck at all. So that's kind of going to depend on your situation. If you see it getting stuck on silent mode, then you might want to use performance mode. I do use performance mode or else mine do get stuck. So that's just something to consider. And then you can also use these sliders here to adjust each curtain individually to a certain percentage of being opened. Alright guys, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do decide to go out and get them, I will have links down in the description below. They do come in a little bit pricey, but I think it's totally worth it to be able to just wake up and have your curtains automatically open for you. It takes just that little bit of a chore out of your day, just like any good smart home device should do. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. Again, check them out in the link down below and you can purchase them right there. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.